Chooks. 10 millimeter. Extravaganza! All right, guys, Chook here with Chook's 10 millimeter extravaganza. I get a lot of messages and comments about choices for a Glock 10 millimeter. Uh, people asking about a 20, a 29. I think they're both ch good choices. So I'm going to compare the Glock 20 and the 29 and look at shootability and recoil. Obviously, I'm missing the Glock 40, but I think that speaks for itself. If if you want a Glock 40, go ahead and, and get one. You're going to get good velocity. Chuck has got some crazy velocity with an extra long barrel. He got like 1,900 feet per second with some bear loads. But I think a lot of people just look at the, the 20 and the 29 because they're easier to carry. And so I don't think there's anything wrong with the 29 and uh, I'm actually thinking about getting one too. There's long windy roads, 29. But we've done a lot of testing with Chuck with Alaska Ballistics and he's gotten really good velocity out of the 29. In some cases, you're not losing much compared to this longer barrel in the 20. I do wanna say that I'm a fan of Springfield's XDM 10 millimeter line. There's also, uh, I forgot what they call the four and a half inch barrel. They've got the different version sizes that basically equate to uh, something like this. It's a little longer and something like the Glock 20. So those are always good choices. In, in my mind, they're just as reliable. I happen to like Glock mags a little more. Obviously, with the 29, uh, you're only getting 10 plus one. So that is something to think about because in a lot of the bear attack stories, it was that last 15th or 16th round in the Glock 20 that made the difference. So I would probably choose a Glock 20 if it was me. But the thing about the 29 is I love the subcompact frame and size. I carried a Glock 26 for years. It's roughly the same footprint for some reason at three o'clock. I can carry a subcompact so well, it's so comfortable, and it fits well. It's kind of weird with the subcompact and the compact, you're only losing just a fraction of an inch you know, and a little bit off the end. It's almost like they came up with compact and subcompacts just to make more money and have a new uh, section of guns to sell. But obviously, they don't have a compact 10 millimeter. I think it would be great if this is more of a full size. So we're doing a full size comparison with the uh, subcompact. So 20 versus 29, I'm gonna shoot some of this SIG Elite Performance ammo that I have in 10 millimeter, and I'm just gonna see how they do. So uh, let's see what happens. All right, we going? All right, you're rolling? Yep. All right, so just shot the 20 and the 29. Obviously the 29 is a little snappier, but it wasn't very noticeable. It, it was snappier than the 20 but it wasn't extremely snappier. I felt like I could shoot them roughly about the same. Obviously having more real estate to get your hand on the grip on the 20, you're gonna shoot it better. Uh, but uh, Long Windy Road was reminding me, you can get a 15 round mag, 10 millimeter, and it'll fit in the 29 as a backup. So it's nice to have that. I also forgot to mention that for city carry, you can transition, you can easily carry this uh, concealed in the city for social work or whatever. Uh, I like saying that because I'm a social worker. But you, you can carry it in the city and uh, that, that gives it an edge over the 22. So if you're gonna do a lot of concealed carry and you want something handy that you can whip out a little faster, it's very light, I would go with the 29. But if it's a dedicated bear gun, you're gonna be hiking in the woods, you're getting a chest holster, I would definitely go with the 20. 
Uh, for me, it's a little handier than the Glock 40 and the 15 round capacity plus one, you just can't beat. So uh, the recoil was less felt in the 20, not extremely so, as I said, but uh, I did shoot the 20 better. So I choose the Glock 20. What say you? Please comment and help me out on Patreon if you can. Thanks, guys, and thanks for tuning in to Chook's 10 millimeter extravaganza. My name is Chook. I like to trade my guns just for fun, but now I have none. Oh, look at Chuck I Bear, but I don't care. I got a 10 millimeter. Chook's out of adventures. Why don't you call us die every time?